All right, so today's tool lesson is to how to use vice grips. And maybe you've never used them before, and I'm gonna show you different types of vice grips. Um, I have several here. I've got this kind. This is called a C-clamp vice grip. These are called needle nose, and there's all different brands of them. There's vice grip brand, or a Corwin vice grip brand, and there's uh, different ones. There's ones at Harbor Freight Tools. There's this Olympia. You know, there's all different. There's a uh, Milwaukee makes a set, and basically, um, vice grip is the um, Irwin brand. It says right here, vice grip. Okay, that is usually one of the good quality ones. Some of the other knockoffs, like Harbor Freight and stuff like that, are a little cheaper, uh, but they don't work quite as good. And what happens is the metal, this one's bent, you see right here? It's opened up and bent. So if you get a cheap set, um, you're getting usually what you pay for. Um, they do have good ones like Milwaukee has a set of, they call them locking pliers. If you want to look up on, uh, on Amazon or something like that. Let's take a look at some others. So they have this style too. This is another vice grip brand. They also have these style. These are actually for welding. So you use these and you tighten them down. You actually adjust right here. And that tells you how thick that it's, you know, going to hold. You loosen it up like this. So if you have a thicker material, you loosen it up a little bit. If you have, you know, turn it counterclockwise. If you have something that's thinner, then you want to turn it clockwise. And that tightens it up a little bit. See, so then it locks in like that. This is for welding. And that's so that you can hold two sides and then weld in the middle. This is another kind of C-clamp vice grip type thing. This is actually a locking plier. It's not vice grip brand. So this one is meant for holding something far away. Like if you're trying to weld something, you use these to hold it down tight. And then you can weld it. You know, like if I were to try and weld right here, and I was able to get around this area, then I could maneuver this around and then put it up there and tighten it down. I'll show you how that works. But I think most of us are looking probably for this type of a vice grip, correct? So let's talk about what these do. If you see right here, that inside there is actually a wire cutter. And a lot of people don't know that. Um, that little area, little jaw right there. Let's try and test that out. So this one is the most common vice grip. And here's a piece of wire. You put it in the jaws. Let's get it up nice and close. You guys can see. Put it in the jaws, and you can see in there. And you just clip, broke the wire. There's the other end of it. So you cut the wire in half. That's some regular wire. So it's kind of good to have if you didn't know that those pliers had that feature. Um, these jaws here are designed to go around like a bolt. If you have something that's like, you know, needs to be um, taken loose, and maybe the, the threads on the bolt or the, or the, uh, where the socket goes is worn out, then these jaws can sometimes grab that without, you know, and hold it nice and tight. And the vice grip brand have really um, a little bit better steel, so the, the teeth hold a little bit better. So if you get a good pair of like vice grip brand, or if you get Milwaukee, or there's a few other ones that are really good, um, it's worth spending the extra money. These are more money than the regular ones are. The, the you know then the cheap knockoffs like this Olympia these are garbage cheap ones but you know like I was somewhere and I needed something to hold something a needle nose set like that and just needed something to you know clamp this down and have those needle nose hold on to something maybe it was while I was welding it I don't remember I just needed a pair of these one time and I just bought those and it was at a little place and that's all they had so Anyway, I always like to buy the better brands like these. So uh, this part, of course, you can loosen it up here, and it'll actually won't close as much. Loosen up a little bit more, and it won't close as much. And that's so that you can grip onto something larger. So if you were trying to say grip onto this here, then you would have to adjust this, tighten it up a little bit more, and 
until it gets to that point. You can kind of feel it. Loosen it up a little bit more until it's about right there. And then you can lock it in place. That's how vice grips work. It's a really simple thing. Uh, maybe you're just new to tools and you don't know anything yet. So I would just make a video on this. It's a very simple video, but just letting you know what the different types are and what they there's features in these that you might not even know are there. You know, like this vice grip brand, for instance, doesn't have the cutters. You see the teeth are not there. So there's different ones. So when you go to buy them, you know, consider what you're looking to do and how long you're willing to keep them. If you're willing to keep them a long time, buy the name brand. They're worth it. Um, if you're in a, in, a, in a cheap bind, they always have these ones here from Harbor Freight. They're really cheap and they're okay. They're not great. Their teeth, you can see they're kind of loose. They're not the same as the real thing, but they do work for you know a smaller project or something like that. If you're just using it to hold something in place, these will do the job. All right, so I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, push the make a comment. Make sure you make those comments. Uh, really help the video. You can make it make it easier for someone else to find. Thanks for watching.